meeting porch on the youth floor. It's a great place to get fresh air, read some books, um, get some work done on your laptop maybe. probably throughout the day uh, but I don't have an actual count yet but stay tuned uh, you can definitely see we have different types of spaces things for children to do their families I want to go inside and right through here um, you can see our children's area we have some of our media that for available for children music audio books for children and then moving forward there are lots of little spaces to work on computers read books sit and play with legos or toys how do you get into this room uh, come around this way and it can get you into the room uh, this room is where we're going to have our, a lot of our children's programming story time will be then in here just around the bend so this area is called the Creative Commons. It's just a name for a space where everyone is invited to be creative and, you know, engage with the library. And then right through here, so we have some sculptures that are uh, from Alice in Wonderland. And this area was actually named Wonderland in honor of Brenda Branch, who is our uh, library director for 25 years and she worked at the library for 40 almost 40 years when she retired uh, just recently yeah. follow me this is the atrium and you can see the little peekaboo holes where you can look into the children's section here's the wonderland and you can see those sculptures right through there we also have some public spaces out here, especially if parents are uh, wanting to look, do something with their kids uh, on the computers. We have this right here. You can see some families in there enjoying the Creative Commons area. <laughs> We have a lot of staircases. A lot of people compare this to Hogwarts. The staircases don't actually move, but it's all about wayfinding. So no matter where you're standing in the building, you can kind of look around and see, oh, I want to go there next, or oh, I'm interested in that. We Tell us about have the club. Huge amount of natural light uh -huh. comes in um, from the windows and from the ceiling. Mm -hmm. We have a giant art. This is from Art in Public Places. The artist is Christian Muller. He's a world-renowned artist, and this is resembles a cuckoo clock. It's a kinetic sculpture, um, and those are grackles, and it's all about, an, it's an homage to blackbirds. And uh, we have a space here for people to hang out, get some work done on their laptops. Looking down, you can see this is our second floor. It's where people might sign up for library cards, um, hang out again. And you can see how many people are here three hours later, guys. We have our team area. And this is one of our many machines where you can check out laptops or uh, iPads, devices. Teenagers can play video games. And right outside the library. Some of the collection that we have specifically for teenagers. And you know, here you can see some quotes about reading that are engraved. We're doing a Facebook Live. So when they asked our director if she had a quote about reading, it turns out she had hundreds of quotes. And so we selected some of the best ones and they're etched on the inside of this. And then from the outside, you can just read the words library very big. Another area for teenagers to hang out, lounge, share ideas, and beautiful 
view of our butterfly bridge. This is the second street extension and the second street bridge that connects us to uh, the, the second street eco district. As you can tell, it's a very loud space. We do have quieter spaces. We'll talk more about that later. <laughs> but the youth floor is pretty loud. Definitely. Can you explain also about the, what you were telling me earlier about the bridge and the importance of connecting this place? With oh, this absolutely. Place? Yeah, the Second Street mm -hmm. extension was really critical to making sure that this library was integrated in the eco district. It's all about walkability and connectivity, and we just wanted to make sure that people could access the building from all different ways. We're also integrated with the hike and bike trail, so if someone is hiking around uh, Ladybird Lake. They can just walk right into the library right off the trail and come on in and check out a book. And um, this bridge connects us to City Hall and the sort of yes. eastern side of this, and it connects us all with the Eco District over here. It's all about walkability, and uh, there also it's really great for you know cycling if you're on a bicycle things like that. Um, again, we have a lot of technology in this building. You can see right here just some of the computers we have for teenagers, and we have screens like these throughout the building. They recommend books, they tell you about upcoming programs, and then we have slow TV, things like fish tanks or things like that, you know, so it's a little bit of everything. We have printers if kids are doing homework and they need to print up their homework. I guess print still exists in some yes, format. Print does. Okay. And of course, we have media. A lot of uh, you know, we have versions of lots of different formats. So if you like the traditional book, we've got it. If you want stuff online, you can check out a laptop, it out, and you please. can get onto our virtual library and stream or download or whatever it is that you need to do. So it's all about you know customer service and providing the customer type of media in the format that they want. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, we're going to walk right across. Sorry. Uh, we have additional computers here. Again, this is all the, just the team section. And you can see here, if we go outside the door, it says team in a number of different languages. Uh, we do anticipate this being a library where people from all over the world come and explore. And we want to make sure that everyone feels welcome. So we have 